he's easily the most dapper. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, any questions before you travel on? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct! She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithhog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <sighs> Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfron was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. <laughs> the living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. The song called it. Gone now. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Whoa. 
Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Thor's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. Is everything okay? Aye, old friend. Just looting Normia chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Ah! There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it could do that. apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who feed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time! Atreus, focus! I hate Alpha! Behind you! Look out! Most unfortunate. 
They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father yeah. said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. I guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. <laughs> Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. <laughs> well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Whoa! Whoa. Is that a bomb? Behind you, brother! 
on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs> temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to <gasps> head the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? to return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are safe, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> Salutations, we mean you no harm. Tear! Get back! Fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. <laughs> Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
angle looks right. Let's continue our ascent, yes? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Yeah. There's gotta be a way to get your ass behind the crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it.
Thanks, dear. My pleasure. Glad we explored. it then. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it. on the other side. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Just that's on us. I must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. Timing must be precise.
This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Lidor! It's coming! figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? There's even taller on the inside. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try.
Brighter than I remember. <laughs> Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Go. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well. Those were all entitled to walk the wrong path, regardless of where they end. Must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. Stuck 
on the wing. to defend ourselves but when he died he told us we helped the wrong side i see <laughs> 